classes that use the observable protocol can be used in more than one SwiftUI view, and all of those views will be updated when the relevant properties of the object changes. Now, SwiftUI is really, really smart here. It'll only update those views that actually use the properties that changed. In this app, we're gonna design a view specifically for adding new expense items to the list. And when this is ready, we'll add that to our expense class, which will automatically cause the original view with our list to refresh to show the new expense item. To make a new SwiftUI view, you can either press Command N on your keyboard or Go to the file menu and choose new file. Either one works. Please do it now. You want to choose Swift UI view, then press next and call this thing addView.swift, like so. Now, it'll open up editing straight away. And as with our other views, our first pass at this add view will be really simple and we'll add things to it over time. That means we'll add some text views for an expense name plus an amount, pick up for the type, all wrapped up in a form and navigation stack here. And so this should all be old news to you by now. So let's get into the code. Inside here, I'm going to say we have uh, at state private var name, empty string, at state private var type is personal. Then at state private var amount will be 0.0, .0 by default. Then we'll say we've got a types array of, let's do uh, business and personal, like that. Then our view body, I'm gonna say I want a navigation stack with a form inside, then a text field called name with its text bound dollar name, then a picker called type with selection bound to dollar type. Inside there, we'll loop over our two types. So I'll say uh, for each types ID of the type itself, use text dollar zero. Then we'll say I want to have another text field below for the amount of our uh, expense, values bound to dollar amount, with a format of I'll use dot currency code USD with a keyboard type of dot decimal pad. Then add a form here, nav title, add new expense. Like so. Yes, we are using USD everywhere for the currency. You have to make that thing smarter in a challenge later on for this project. Anyway, we'll come back to the rest of this code in a moment, but first let's add some code to content view so we can show add view when the plus button is tapped. So over here in content view, in order to present this thing as a new view, we're gonna make three changes to our content view. First, we're gonna track some state to say, are we currently showing add view or not? So I'll say the property, at state, private var, showing add expense is false. Next, we'll tell SwiftUI to use this Boolean here as a condition for showing a sheet, a pop-up window over our current view. This is done with attaching a sheet modifier to our view hierarchy somewhere, um, you can use a list if you want to, or an av stack, it doesn't really matter. Either one works very well. Point is, somewhere you're gonna say there's gonna be a sheet is presented bound to showing ad expense. And then inside there will be show an ad view here. The third step is to put something inside the sheet. What do you actually wanna show on the screen? And often that'll be just the instance of the view type you want to work with. So you might say here, let's make an ad view like so. Here though, we want something more because we already have our expenses object being made up here. We wanna use that in the ad view. And so we want to write code in the ad view to actually create and add expense items into there. We wanna make a second expensive view in ad view. We wanna share the first one from content view. And so what we're gonna do inside our ad view is say this thing expects to be made with an expenses object. So I'll say var expenses is an expenses object like this. And now we can pass our existing expenses object from one view into the other. Back in content view, down here I can say, make the add view, that's fine, but pass in expenses of our current expenses object. They'll both share the same observable object class 
right here, both watch it for changes and so forth. We're not quite done just yet. If I press Command B or C, our code doesn't actually compile anymore because the preview is missing some data here. Um, and if it did compile, it still wouldn't work, right? Um, the compilation failure happens because we have this add view down here saying show an add view in the preview, but we aren't passing in a value for the expenses object, right? It needs to know one of these things. And so we're gonna, we can just pass one in. We can say uh, our expenses will be a new expenses object. It's just for previewing purposes. That's perfectly fine. The second problem is even if we do have a value in here to show the sheet correctly, it's not going to work, right? You know, we can go ahead and press Command R uh, and then press plus and it'll just add our test expenses still, which is not what we want to do. Fortunately, we can go back to content view and this code here makes our test expense. The fix is trivial. Delete that and say instead, showing add expense is true. Show the sheet now. That Boolean is the one bound to our sheet. It'll show add view when that is true. And so now I press Command R. I can see the big blank screen. I'll press plus and I'll press something in here, uh, lunch, personal, and then type of this is five bucks is fine. So you can see it's correctly showing this new add expense sheet when the button's pressed, which is what we want here. When you're ready, you can then swipe dismiss to get back to the original view.